Okay, forgot to do an intro for this project this week. Uh, I was so busy, consumed with a lot of things going on, that I forgot to do an intro. So, what's a video without an intro? So today, we're building a bench. And just not any bench, a bench that I got off the internet. So it's supposed to look something like that. So, we'll see if we are able to build it. Uh, I don't know, the suspense is killing me. I'm kind of high off lacquer right now. Definitely work with lacquer in a well-ventilated area or wear a mask. Not in your garage, because my head kind of hurts now. So, anyway, we're going to do that today, using some project wood from Home Depot. Going to do the voiceover, blah, 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 blah. Let's see if I got it done. All right, here we go. Good afternoon, YouTube. Hope you guys are doing great out there. Salty Texas back with a better project. We're not making bowls today. We're making my first ever wooden bench. And as you can see by the picture that I showed you in the front, uh, and by the thumbnail, this project actually went pretty good. So, before we get started, first thing you're going to need to do is go to down to Lowe's, Home Depot, or wherever you get some wood, and pick you up some beams. Now, this is project wood that I picked up from Lowe's. These are just pieces of pine that have uh, seen better days. If you have a planer, that's going to come in real handy dandy, because uh, typically when you pick up this wood, it's got, you know, warps, it's got cracks, it's got... You know, paint, all kinds of nasty stuff that you don't want to be on your cool looking bench. So if you don't have a planer, you're going to be doing a lot of sanding. Uh, but I hope you got a planer because uh, it makes the wood turn out a lot better than, you know, what it looks like initially. So first thing you're going to do is cut the pieces down to the approximate size that you want them. You can do this a number of ways. Uh, this is one of these benches that will fit two people comfortably. So what I'm doing here is just basically getting the backing and the legs uh, put together. So here we go. Step one, building the seat. So this is a real just basic box type of bench. Uh, the beam, the long beams are 47 and a half inches long. The two inner pieces, as you can see there, are approximately 11 and a quarter inch uh, in length. So here we are, just drew some pilot holes uh, where I put in the screws and just basically uh, got everything together. I used a little bit of wood glue in this project because I'm so used to using it, I just had to use it. So once we got that all, you know, figured out, just make a simple box with it. Uh, and this is where it's going to support most of the weight of the bench. And as you can see there, got me a new DeWalt uh, impact driver. And that thing really came in handy during this project. I can't say enough about DeWalt. They make really good uh, products, unlike that Black & Decker drill that uh, is in the background there. It's on its last legs. The charger doesn't work, so this is probably the last project I'm ever going to use with that. So got the screws put in. Uh, make sure to use outdoor wood screws. Don't uh, use indoor wood screws, apparently, because this will be an outdoor bench. So these four beams here, same size. They're 47 and a half inches long. Uh, you'll need approximately four of those if you do, if you build it to these uh, specific dimensions. Um, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, but I went with something really basic with this one. I uh, didn't want to get too fancy with it, uh, this being my first bench. This is actually something that I'm building for a coworker uh, who's been asking me to build her a bench for the past year and finally got around to finally doing it. Uh, so got this part set up. This went actually pretty smooth, didn't have any issues with it. And here's me, step two, building the legs. By the way, it's West Texas and it's about 130 degrees inside of my garage at this point. So I'm over here sweating really, really bad, trying to keep my stuff together. So the front legs are approximately 23 and a half inches long. And from the base to the uh, floor is approximately 13 and a quarter inch. So here we are just lining everything up, measure twice, cut once. Uh, I will have some problems with that a little bit later, but overall not too bad. Uh, so here we are, drill those in. And then the back legs are approximately 35 and a quarter inches tall. So those will be the foundation for the support beams that we put in the back. Uh, and here I am trying to get everything lined up on my miter saw, uh, trying not to mess up the measurements as I usually do. So unique uh, approach to this. I took one of the support beams and put them in the back and then lined up the back of the leg essentially where I wanted it after I drilled some pilot holes. The key to this build is do the ends first and then you can start to fill in the gaps in the middle with the support beams so you have an, a general idea of what this will look like. 
So you're going to do both on both ends. And if you have clamps, those will really come in handy. You'll see here in a little bit, I think I took every clamp that I had in my garage uh, to get this done. And if you use this project wood, you're going to notice a lot of it has warps. So basically what I'm trying to do is cut this down to an appropriate size to where I can put it on top of the support beams and just drill holes and put everything in alignment. Uh, and here I am just gauging how thick I need this to be. And I almost cut my fingers off in this. Use better safety methods. I totally recommend that uh, other than doing that. So here we are. Once I got the uh, end of the legs supported, now I'm just basically uh, taking that top piece of beam and drilling the ends. So you want to drill the ends first and then align the middle boards. Those middle boards or support beams are approximately 23 and 3 quarters inches and I used uh, seven of them in this particular project. Uh, I was thinking about just doing no gap. I might do no gap in the next one but I think it looks a little bit better with a little bit of gap in the back and you're basically just going to drill pilot holes and then drill uh, the top beam into the top and then essentially take the clamps off and screw them into the bottom of the seat. So here we are now we're just making the arms of the bench and these are going to be approximately 15 and 1 quarter inch in length uh, and those will basically just you know attach without any kind of difficulty really uh, as you'll see here in a bit. So here's basically the bench once it's kind of put together and now we're just putting the armrest in and you know, it's not the most precise project, but this is just project wood. Like I said, most of these beams cost me about $2.50 at Lowe's. The smaller beams cost me like $1.38, I think. So this total cost of this build was maybe under 50 bucks. So since you drilled a lot of pilot holes, I just took some wood filler and basically over here just fingering these, uh, these you know, blank holes with wood filler. And of course, if you put anything with wood filler, you're going to have to do some sanding. So we'll probably do that here in the next clip, more than likely. Uh, everything's going pretty good up at this point. I'm really happy. I'm actually surprised by this point that it actually looks like a real bench. And then I never show sanding on this channel, but here's a little bit of sanding in case you didn't know what sanding looked like. So just basically getting that... Uh, getting the remaining uh, wood filler off so it just looks flush and even with the rest of the board. So we did that and took it, I think I used like 180 grit on this one just to sand everything down generally. And for some reason I felt the need to sand the rest of it. And then I took some lacquer. I have no idea why I'm stirring the lacquer. Also, make sure to use this in a well ventilated area. Uh, don't, uh... Don't do it in your garage. Make sure it's in a well-ventilated area and uh, you wear a respirator because this stuff will make you dizzy and sick like it did me in a combination of the heat. So here's the final project all done and completed. And here's me taking it for its first ride. And I'm about six foot tall, 190 pounds, and it totally supported me. And here I am dancing like a goofball thinking that this is awesome. So hope you like the project, guys. Doing something a little bit different with the channel. Hope you guys are liking these projects. I know I'm having a lot of fun building them. There's me drinking my Diet Pepsi, just enjoying the day. So don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next project. Peace!